Hey YouTube, James here with the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. There are very minor differences to the Galaxy S8, but we want to run through those just so you know which one to buy when it comes out very soon. So we have already taken a look at the Samsung Galaxy S8 and there are some really interesting upgrades here. It has a larger screen, there's a really nice new design, you're getting new features such as Bixby and the iris scanner on the front of the phone and the fingerprint scanner has even moved to the back of the phone. If you want to know more about the Samsung Galaxy S8, watch the video in the corner right now, but here we're going to talk about the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So the biggest difference for the Galaxy S8 Plus is clearly the size, but it's not that much bigger than the Galaxy S8. If you're into larger phones, we also recommend taking a look at the normal version of the phone. The Galaxy S8 Plus has a 6.2 inch screen that again is QHD, so you're getting 529 PPI. So you're going to get a slightly lower resolution than the Samsung Galaxy S8, which has 570 PPI. Saying that, the screen on the Galaxy S8 Plus still looks gorgeous and you're not going to be disappointed with this phone. Another difference here is obviously the weight of the phone. It's a little bit heavier, but even holding these in each of your hands, you're not really going to notice the difference that much. So even though you're getting a larger phone, it's not going to feel that much heavier in your pocket. The battery in the Plus version of the phone is bigger than the Galaxy S8. It's 3,500 milliamps, while the Galaxy S8 has a 3,000 milliamp battery. Surprisingly, the Galaxy S8 Plus does have a smaller battery than last year's Galaxy S7 Edge, which had a 3600 milliamp battery. So we're really going to have to do some intensive battery testing with the Galaxy S8 Plus to know if it's a good sell or not. So the differences between the Galaxy S8 and the Galaxy S8 Plus are very minimal. You're getting a larger screen on the Galaxy S8 Plus and you're also getting a lower PPI there as well. You're going to get a bigger battery, but you're also going to have a heavier phone. We still don't know the prices of either of these at the moment. So it'd be interesting to see how much Samsung charges for the larger version of the phone. So that was a very quick look at the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. This phone doesn't differ too much from the actual Galaxy S8. So we recommend you check out that hands-on video, which is floating around me right now. Thanks for liking. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you again soon.